Good morning, everyone, and happy hump day, September 14th, 2022. And um, it's 6.04 a.m., and I've been up for several hours. Thank the Lord, my tribe sister, Led, is the same size as me, and she has warm clothes. It's 52 degrees here. Yipes. <laughs> Holy crap, I got my hot cocoa in my favorite mug, the Futurist Female. Just saying. Anywho. <laughs> and I'm in the garage because she's got a long day today and I didn't want to wake her. But it was really important that I write out what, what I need to write. I just finished the book of the second book of Kings and boy oh boy was it apropos with what I endured on Sunday oh boy so I had to write it out in detail what I wanted to say to awaken the masses that 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 are still sleeping that are still well, they may be physically sleeping, but I'm just talking about as they walk around the world in disbelief of what is truly going on. Turn off the idiot box. You don't need that. I, I assure you of that. Oh, love in a cup, I'm telling you, it's the bomb. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I have to entertain myself. I always have. Lord, as you continue to lead me to more stories, I am fulfilled by your word. To think pastors went to seminary school and have taken your words out of context, ignited a fire in me for your ongoing justice in a world run by a tyrant regime. You know I don't believe in coincidences. Nor did I finally just finish the second book of Kings a few seconds ago. Well, this was, this, when I wrote this, I'm, I'm going to preface that with hours ago now. Your words fuel my Holy Spirit beyond anything ever available under man's tyrant rule. To think I once walked into to the doors of Trinity Lutheran with a grateful heart to only see clearly with my eyes the deception written on the walls. Speaks volumes for those taking your beautifully written love letter out of context. Thank you for the gift of my beloved brother Mark. You know it was him that led me to start reading the love letter. That you left us as a manual for every human on earth to follow. The laws are crystal clear under your rule as to how the earth is to be run yet those within this ongoing tyrant regime has continued to deceive the masses is the star of bethlehem the light that my beloved tribe sister let showed me last night she said she noticed it the past two weeks amidst the clouds yesterday the sun burned through so that the stars could light up the night skies the star of Bethlehem was shining so bright last night, at first was alarming to my tribe sister. You know I knew it was your light, shining brighter than anything we have ever witnessed to the east. And yes, I've got chills right now that just came on because I'm nice and warm because I've got my cup of cocoa <laughs> and her wonderful warm little coat. <laughs> Are we the only two that saw this, or are others in the world witnessing this incredible event? Either way, I know your coming is near, and Jesus has selected his bride to join forces to show this God-forsaken, darkened world who rules the roost. It has saddened me beyond measure of the members of the ongoing tyrant regime was participant or was participants in the deception of your word in my hometown of Elkhart, the city with a heart. Please help those whose hearts have hardened.
to see the light before your coming, as shades will be provided for those that are blinded by your light. Those lamps you continue to fill up with oil continued spreading your word to those darkened by those in authority. Lord, please help those who continue to wear robes of honor, see the error of their ways, and lead them to repent and be obedient as they apologize for their ongoing roles of the deception of your word. Of your word. You know how grateful I am to you that you continue to lead me through their biblical stupidity as I shine my light so bright that they put others to their dirty work as spineless men needing their nut sacks cinched up. Just saying. The future is female. With him leading the pack. This fire you ignited in me for justice is ongoing despite the weakened state of my earthly body. I will continue to teach others of this ongoing corruption and lead them to open that beautifully written love letter you wrote for your children to learn about the laws you left for us to follow. I keep preaching your book is meant to change us, yet this ongoing tyrant regime continues to alter it to serve their evil god, that damn devil. Thank you for giving me this fire to speak the truth and ability to show others how those in authoritative positions have deceived we the people. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all, will ring victorious when you arrive with Jesus as he has selected his bride and will show the world you you'll show the world that you both exist with your angels and saints and beloved hearts until that time comes i will continue to teach those to open thy bibles and learn all those years i attended worship services only to see clearly after reading your beloved book in its entirety has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm not quite done yet. I'm almost done. After I finish this, I'm going to go finish it. Well, that's my goal. He may change my mind, but I don't know yet. To think I followed the rules, a.k.a. as a tax collector, bean counter, set by man, believing they were enforcing them under the principles and commandments set forth by you, makes me sick to my stomach every word I continue to read. Again, thank you for giving me the strength, the voice, the incredible brain that man tried to alter with their poison set forth as a method to heal disguised as an Rx prescribed by doctors speaks volumes to why my beloved body continues reading said poisons daily by bringing them to the surface for me to see, then lance open so I can pour salt onto said poisons, releasing said poisons as waste from my beloved temple I work so hard to keep in tip-top shape. To think I was so disobedient in my former life, I now can see why and heal. I can't apologize enough for those choices I previously made. I pray you see how I am atoning daily for my past indiscretions as I read, as I lead we the people to our YouTube channel, Nat333 and La Casa Tesora de Celio, aka Heaven's Treasure Ministry, as a gift to you for this beautiful land you created for us. A call to you with my beloved heart of gold, you so beautifully gifted me, was my only ammunition to fight this corrupt and darkened tyrant regime. Thank you for giving me rest earlier and awakening me to share more of your ongoing teachings. Thank you, Lord, for leading me back to my beloved hometown of Elkhart, the city with a heart, where my lamp oil is being filled up, where it was once being wasted, is yet another one of your beautiful gifts. 
as I continue this bonus day 110. My cup runneth over. It's delicious too. I just have to say this. That you have gifted me with another day of recess. I know when you call me home to supper, I will have completed my homework assignments in their entirety. Thank you for giving me the strength to drive over a thousand miles with my beaten, broken body as my beloved Princess Anna Grace squeezes the edema away from my unconditional loving heart. To think you give, gifted me a heart like Jesus is a gift I can't thank you enough for. To think those humans continue to throw stones speaks volumes of the darkness that lies within. I pray they too break free from those chains of bondage as the clock ticks closer to your arrival. Allowing me to come home, Lord, has been eye-opening, not surprising. Yet continuing filling up my lamp oil puts a smile on my face every bonus day you wake me up. When I lived here prior to moving to Florida Keys, the ongoing rain and clouds were beyond depressing, but now seeing them in a different light, I realized when me and my tribe sisters with Princess Hannah were welcomed as family at Vilwax Family Market were a beautiful gift of more cleansing of the earth. Lord, the drizzle and darkness that once sat in me did not dull my light. As I sat on a love seat talking to Don with my raincoat on in the cold, I witnessed Princess Hannah Grace playing in the mud puddles while drinking your sacred muddy water. <laughs> to watch her pitter-patter like a kid in a puddle as I sat having fellowship with Don made me realize the darkness in Indiana was no longer dimming my light. I was enjoying that mist of rain while spreading the gospel with my brother and angel Don. Thank you for opening my eyes to enjoy the rain in Indiana and Michigan, like me and my girls did upon arrival in the Florida Keys. When you enjoy playing in the rain as a kid, then realizing upon arrival in the Florida Keys, the childlike gift has resurfaced, brought joy to our lives beyond measure. Thank you for giving us that joy that we brought with us to Indiana where the rain was once a darkened state. Thank you for using your lamp oil to wash away the blindfold that was restricting the beauty you have been trying to convey to me and others our entire lives. I was blind, but now I can see. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. That's for you, Big K. I've been cleansed and made pure white as snow again and to think I was blessed with this gift on my beloved Grandma June's birthday you know was one of your incredible gifts I will always cherish when the video popped up in my memories yesterday I was trying to understand why in September the star of Bethlehem last night helped me see the light in the darkness of the night and I want to thank you for that beautiful gift as well. Gold stars, Lord, for continuing to lead me and others to learn and teach about the beautiful book entitled The Bible. I couldn't think of a better way to fulfill my ongoing assignment set forth by you to each and every one of us humans here during recess. Thank you for leading me to my tribe sister let and providing me with a kitchen to create more dishes filled with love. I always said I felt the way to a person's heart was through their stomach. And my gut has never, ever been wrong. When you feed your souls with your word, your appetite increases with the amount you require daily. Some days I need more than others. And, and you know, ever since my full surrender and obedience, I've been on a mission of waste, not want not. Eating like a bird is exactly what we the people need to digest. As your words continue to feed my soul 
filling my body with your loving goodness. To think we the people overeat constantly when all they need to do is read your beloved love letter breaks my beloved pure heart. As I look around and see clearly, as my body has shrunk, speaks volumes of the power of your beloved book. The solution is simple, as I continue to tell others. Open your book, the Bible, with a grateful heart and start reading. Then you too will break free of those chains that have kept you in bondage. Freeing your mind of the ongoing deception by a darkened group of humans I labeled as a tyrant regime. The truth will set you free, especially when you practice loving your neighbor as thyself. Thank you for giving me the time to understand and comprehend clearly that beautiful love letter you and your beloved children helped write. I can see clearly now the rain is gone and I will continue playing in the rain as you continue lighting the way. Bonus day 110, loving living life as recess continues. I have to ask one final question. What's for supper, Lord? You know I adore fish. And please, please, please don't forget dessert because you know how much I adore it. <laughs> Looking forward to the day you call me home because I know we will feast and laugh at some of those crazy ideas I've used to bring we the people closer to you. You have to know the rules in order to break them intelligently, Lord. And there's no doubt I've managed to do that with my out of the box creative thinking that was once silenced by the stress created by the tyrant regime's web of lies. Here's to sprinkling seeds of love and planting them in those darkened souls. You are the lamp that lights our paths, Lord, and the unconditional love that fills up our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for continuing to lead the way. And I will march on as I continue to listen to your to your messages with Princess Hannah Grace leading the pack here on earth. What a gift, Lord. Princess Hannah Grace, although defiant at times, is the best love bug you could have ever gifted me with. It just saddens me that the man that gifted her to me has, has a heart hardened like a lump of coal. I pray you can shed some light on his darkened soul before it's, his time runs out. You know how I want everyone to go to heaven. And despite his evil and wicked ways, you know how much I love him. Forgiveness is one of your greatest gifts, Lord. And I'm thankful you have forgiven my, me for my not so wonderful choices. Smile and the world smiles with you. Frown and you frown alone. To think my college professor, Denny Parks, from Southwestern Michigan College in Dewajak, Michigan, said that after every class as he shook students' hands, I realize now was another one of your angels put on my path. Talk about truth in advertising, just like your beautifully written love letter. I am super excited for the day you show we the people that you do in fact exist and take this world out of its ongoing darkness. In the meantime, I'll keep leading and teaching while enjoying each and every bonus day with gratitude filled with unconditional love. With a grateful and loving heart, Lord, I pray we the people see the light and start filling up their lamp oils while helping others out of the darkness as we become closer to your coming. In God, we the people trust as those ongoing members of the tyrant regime are guilty of lies, deception, and corruption need to be obedient and repent before the final curtain falls. There comes a time when we heed a certain call, when the world must come together as one. There are people dying. Oh, and it's time to lend a hand to life. The greatest gift of all, we can't go on pretending day by day that someone somewhere soon make a change. We're all a part of God's great fa big family and the truth you know, love, is all we need. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day 
So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true. We'll make a better day. Just you and me. Oh, send them your heart so they know that someone cares and their lives will be stronger and free. As God has shown us by turning stones to bread, and so we all must lend a helping hand. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Oh, there's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and me. When you're down and out, there seems no hope at all. But if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. Well, 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 let us realize, oh, that a change can only come when we stand together as one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and I. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and I. With him leading the pack. We are the world are the world we are the children are the children we are the ones who'll make a brighter day so let's start giving so let's start giving there's a choice we're making we're saving our own lives it's true we'll make a better day just you and i with him you always have to have three just saying <laughs> Oh, let me hear you. We are the world. We are the world. We are the children. Said, we are the children. We are the ones who'll make a brighter day. So let's start giving. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and I. Come on now. Let me hear you. We are the world. We are the world. We are the children. We are the children. We are the ones who'll make a brighter day. So let's start giving. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and I. Yeah, we are the world. We are the world. We are the children. We are the children. We are the ones who'll make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Let's start giving. There's a choice we're making and we're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and I. We are the world. Are the world. We are the children. Are the children. We are the ones who'll make a brighter day. So let's start giving. So let's start giving. That doesn't mean keep it to yourself. Just saying. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and I. We are the world. We are the world. Are the world. We are the children. Yes, sir. Are your children. We are the ones that make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we'll make a better day. Just you and I. Oh, oh, we are the world, dear God. Are the world. We are the children, are the children. We are the ones that make a brighter day, so let's start giving. All right, can you hear what I'm saying? There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. Love to all, bunches and bunches. 
on bonus day 110 as it continues. At 6.29 in the morning, Lord only knows what I'm up to next. I didn't have to go to seminary school to understand the Bible clearly. And I'm certainly not going to listen to some human on earth to try to tell me how I'm reading it is wrong. They can kiss my tail end and the horse they rode in on. One thing that God gifted me with was a brain to understand in detail and teach the masses what I learned and able to teach the masses what I've learned in a way that people can understand something that humans that went to seminary school have tried to destroy. He will not allow it, nor will I. So you can block me in a parking lot outside of my beloved Jeep that's plastered silence no more of entrance into your beloved temple of worship filled with lies and deception. But guess who you're going to have to repent to? It's your funeral, not mine. So as you sit and connive and plot, all I can say is you better be obedient and repent. Because the gig's up. And you silencing me in the parking lot was short-lived. Just saying. Funny how your friend requests those pastors. And they're quiet as church mice. Cinched them right up now, didn't I? Little old five foot four and a half Natalie did her homework. It's about time you pastors start doing yours. Because gig's up. We've got your number loud and clear. And there's already people calling you out in your church. And that's why you didn't want little old Natalie to walk in with her beautiful service dog, Chris Tams Grace. Because Lord knows I would have created quite an ordeal if you wouldn't have blessed my beloved Princess Hannah Grace. She has earned her blessing. Just saying. And when that pastor ignored her, our lady of perpetual help, give me a friggin' break. Holier than thou sitting on his throne. He better repent too. And the rest of them that chimed in sending me out to their common area like I'm a dog. I'm not worthy to be inside plugged in because the pastors are highly allergic to dogs. Why do you think that? That's those demons that, were, that are within him. So he can sit on that throne and you guys can keep bowing down to him. But your judgment days are coming. Just saying. My bestest advice is to be obedient and repent. Just saying. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.